Fermi is a 1200 megawatt electric boiling water reactor that produces enough electricity for over 1 million homes and small businesses here in Southeast Michigan. The level of safety, the safety focus that I see both at, at our plant, at all nuclear plants around the country, I, I don't think they can be surpassed by anyone else. I mean, the, I will just share with you that there is rigorous safety standards that we, we demonstrate every day and rigorous security requirements that we're required to meet 24-7. Lake water is pumped into what we call here our circulating water reservoir. We're not a direct discharge plant that goes, that goes back to the lake. That lake water, once it goes through the condenser and cools that water, it flows out to those cooling towers. It falls down through air on the inside of those cooling towers. That releases the vapor. You know, some people think it uh, might be a smokestack. Some people think it's, uh, you know, steam. It's not. It's actually just water vapor. Think of it like a cloud. first take it out, we put it in what looks like a, a giant pool of water. And why is it there? It moves heat and it blocks radiation from heat. Um, after roughly five years, the heat drops down and we put it in a big steel and concrete canister. And it just sits next to the plant. From the design of the canister, I can argue to you that nuclear is perfectly, I can store nuclear waste perfectly safe. The issue is the waste remains radioactive for thousands of years. So a 100-year canister is not a good long-term solution. So long-term, what we want to do is we want to put it in what's called a deep geological repository, far under the ground. We place the most dangerous chemical pollutant on the planet on the shores of the Great Lakes, 21% of the world's surface fresh water, all in jeopardy. It's all private profit at public risk. Our desire, just like every other plant, will be that the, that the federal government develop a long-term fuel repository, uh, building that repository because that will further reduce costs of, of the nuclear industry. 